now it is the responsibility of the kingdom to ensure that we do not disappoint the member states. King Imswati III has ordered the immediate and indefinite closure of schools in Eswatini. This follows a protest by students and learners boycotting lessons and calling for free schooling as well as the end to the king's rule. Pro-democracy protests have fled up in Eswatini month after authorities loyal to the Southern African country's absolute monarchy quashed an earlier round of demonstrations using tear gas and water cannon. Anger against King Imswati III has been building for years. Campaigners said the 53-year-old king has consistently ignored calls for reforms that would nudge Eswatini, which changed its name from Swaziland in 2018 in the direction of democracy. We wake up call to the current government and what has been happening in social media, I'm sure everybody has been seeing, there's been quite a lot of looting. Vigilantism has been at the center head, of course, and the reason, of course, is quite clear to quite a number of people. People are basically interested in electing their own prime minister and making sure that to a great extent they have power to themselves. The king denies accusations of autocratic rule and using public money to fund a lavish lifestyle in the impoverished nation that borders South Africa. In July, he called protest against his rule as satanic and said they had taken the country backward. Meanwhile, Swaziland Youth Congress President Sonke Dube says the decision to close schools has negative impact on the academic year. In the meantime, we appeal for calm, restraint and peace from all Emaswati.